Hello, beautiful Scorpio. Welcome to my channel, Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rose, and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. Do keep in mind, Scorpio, as I begin to shuffle these cards, that these readings are for entertainment purposes only. So take what speaks for you and leave what doesn't apply. Should you find the messages coming through this week does resonate for you and your current situation, feel free to let me know by hitting that like button and or subscribing where you will be notified of every time I release a new video here on the channel. This week, I will be using the Muse Tarot for your love messages. Also to Scorpio, I have decided to open up the comment section randomly. So keep an eye out for the times that I do open up the comment section. And please take advantage of that opportunity to interact and, com and communicate um, and to contribute to the community, the Scorpio community, of course. Okay, so Scorpio, let's see what's coming through for you in love and relationship in the upcoming days and week. For those of you who are wondering what stone I've got here, it's, this is turquoise. I felt really drawn to work with the turquoise crystal or stone this week. Okay, what have we got here? Beautiful, Ten of Emotions. I love this. What a great card to kickstart your reading, guys. Ten of Emotions is the Happy Ever After card. It's the, the card that we want to see in a love reading. To me, this is, you know, your one true love. This is wanting a love that you can spend your days with, you know. Um, perhaps you already have this with someone special. Perhaps you're desiring to have this with someone special. Perhaps this is what's coming in for you this week, Scorpio. Ten of Emotions tells me that this is a very positive, happy feeling that you're going to feel in the upcoming days and week, okay? I also associate the Ten of Emotions with marriage. So uh, for some of you, this could speak to marriage. We will take a look and see. Uh, what other cards are coming through, of course. But yeah, I'm getting very positive emotions. Happiness, commitment, love. Lots and lots of deep caring and um, sharing for one another here. Oh, <laughs> two of emotions. Are you serious, you guys? Two of emotions. What did I say? This is the two of cups. Your soulmate is coming in. If you single Scorpios out there are worried that you're never going to meet anyone, well, let me tell you, there is someone coming in and this person is going to be your soulmate. For others of you, I feel that you are already in a connection or in a relationship where I feel that both of you are going to feel exactly the same way for each other, okay? You're happy, they're happy. You're opening your heart up, so are they right? There may be talks of commitment here. There may be talks of family here. There may be talks of wanting to start a family or to live, you know, move in together, live together. The two of emotions is two people that feel the same way for each other and that see eye to eye and they want exactly the same things. This is a partnership, you guys. This is a partnership. This is a relationship where both of you are feeling the love or both of you are feeling like the emotions and feelings are growing deeper for each other here. Okay, I'll take the two cards. We've got the full. For some of you, there's someone new coming in. This person may be in Aries or this person may be younger than you. But for those of you already in a, in an existing connection, I do see a new chapter opening up for the both of you. There's a lot of excitement. There's a lot to look forward to. Someone's taking a chance. Someone's taking a risk to come towards you. Um because they're excited. They feel uh, the love and the emotions growing here. We've got the hanged muse. 
I feel like with this hanged muse, I've seen this person sort of, to me it's like an acrobat swinging through the air. So I just feel like what this card is saying is like happy, happy, joy, joy. It's like, yay, I'm just like, you know, when you're swinging on a swing, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting that sensation that this feels really happy. Everything is just like fairy tale like in the upcoming days and week okay where you're being treated like the scorpio queen or the scorpio king that you are okay let's see what else is coming through If you have blocked someone here or if someone's blocked you, I, I feel like that's changing. I feel like your perspective on this relationship is also changing. You've got the Muse of Voices, which is the King of uh, Swords in traditional tarot. So I definitely feel here that... Um, this person wants to communicate. This person wants to talk to you. Um, I feel like this is strong communication coming in, possibly from an air sign that was seemingly uh, coming across as detached or distant, but I don't feel that. This person may... This person may at times act distant, but the love is here. I do feel like you're on someone's mind with the king of, with the muse of voices. And someone wants to talk to you. Yeah, we've got the six of emotions here. This is, this is the six of cups, you guys. So this person, I feel that you have something very special here. Um... Even if this is someone new coming in, I definitely feel that there's something special that could definitely grow deeper here for the both of you. For others of you, this may be someone that you were connected to in the past. It could be that you have history with this person. For others of you, perhaps dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I feel like this person is feeling nostalgic. You are occupying a lot of this person's thoughts. They have good fond memories of you and they want to reach out and communicate here. Okay, let's take a look at the bottom of the deck. We've got the Four of Voices. So the Four of Voices tells me that um, in the overall energy, this is about reflection, being deep in thought. Perhaps this person has taken um, some serious time out to really reflect and think about what it is that they want with you, how it is that they feel towards you, and what it is that they want to share or express and open up and communicate to you here. But I'm seeing a woman in a bath or submerged in a bath and she feels very relaxed and very peaceful here. So that's the overall vibe that I get for you and this connection. Just feels very tranqu tranquil, feels very peaceful. I'm seeing rose petals here. It feels romantic. And this person has a romantic connection or a romantic link to you. So let's take a look at this person's actions towards you, Scorpio, in the upcoming days and week. Let's get an idea of what action they're taking. We've got the skunk spirit. Know your worth. Okay, so what I'm getting here is um, in the past, this person knows, in the recent past, this person knows, uh, how do I want to say this? This person knows that in the past, they did some shitty things. Let's be real, okay? They know it, you know it, 
And the reason why is because they didn't feel good about themselves. And that isn't an excuse by any means, but I'm just simply communicating truth through these cards and the messages that are coming through. So they did some shitty things to you. They said some shitty things to you. They realize that now and they want to offer or they want to come forward offering some kind of peace offering or maybe even an apology. They definitely want to open up about how they're feeling in regards to this situation or what it is that they did. But they know very clearly here that you are worth holding on to and that you are worth their respect and that they they need to do the honourable thing here and apologise. Flamingo, embrace the in-between. So I feel like this person, yeah, um, is in between worlds right now or is in between minds or situations. Um Yeah, I'm getting with the flamingo that there's something very different about this character, okay? Um, I feel like the action that they're taking towards you is a bit left of field. It might be something that you didn't expect as well from this person. I do feel with the flamingo here that this person wants to show off. Um, even with the skunk, right, I'm getting the character Pepe Le Pew of uh, Disney. Is it Disney? Um, so I definitely feel here that this person wants to romance you or kind of like show off to you. Um, I'm getting French for some, for some of you. I don't know why I'm getting French. Perhaps this person will speak to you in French or say something very romantic to you in French. This person may want to wine and dine you at a French restaurant. It's like very flamboyant energy is what I'm getting. I'm getting now like uh, very Brazilian vibes coming through, very Tropicana vibes coming through. I'm not sure why, um, but... That's the action that they're taking towards you. It's very flamboyant, very carnival, um, Brazilian-like. I don't know what that is, but let me know in the comments section if that speaks to you, Scorpio. Um, yeah, that's your reading. I hope you enjoyed. Until next week, I'll speak to you soon.